I invite you to be seated, and I want to invite all of our young worshipers forward, and we're going to find a spot on this first step here. Take a seat. Good morning, good morning. What color are you seeing a lot of right now? Red, yes. So here's my other question. Who likes superheroes? Just Asher? Oh, uh, sort of. Superhero fans? Okay, so, <laughs> tech team, thank you. <laughs> what are some identifiers of superheroes? What things do you see on superheroes that, that kind of identify them as a superhero? Go ahead, Asher. Spidey and friends. What does Spidey have? A web. He has a special superpower, right? He shoots it out of his hand. Yeah. That's right. Okay, what's another one? You have one. Flash is what? Flash is really fast. Yes. They're kind. Ooh, I like that one. That's a good one. Yeah. How about what do they have usually on their backs? Capes. Yes. Okay. Give me one more identifier of a superhero. We got kind. We got special abilities. They usually wear some capes. Yes. Heidi. Spider-Man. Spider yes. Okay. So we know some superheroes, right? Well, they have amazing powers. They can do incredible things. But what if, and Freya already alluded to this, what if their superpower could help share kindness and love with others, right? Today, we're learning about stories from the Bible that talk just about superheroes. And especially Jesus, who's the greatest superhero of all, gave special powers from God to help all the people. So today is Pentecost. Pentecost is like the ultimate origin story of our Christian church. And it's the day that we gain superpowers from Jesus through, what's one of the things that we always refer to? We refer to God, we refer to Jesus. What's that third one? What's that third one? Spirit. The Holy Spirit, yes. So the Holy Spirit comes down and <sighs> descends upon us. So here are some fun trivia things that you got to remember, all right? So put on your listening. Here we go. So. Jesus, we heard last week, ascended into the clouds, and we thought he was going to leave us forever. But then, on the day of Pentecost, he comes up with the best sidekick ever, the Holy Spirit. It was through this sidekick, and he wasn't wearing tights. The Holy Spirit descended in a fiery, fiery flame, and on tongues, and all these weird things that are like, what is going on? And they descend on all the disciples, all right? The original sidekicks of Jesus. And then they gain this superpower about speaking any language that they could imagine. All these languages came, and they could speak all these different languages. And suddenly, 3,000 people joined the church in one day. Just these wild, crazy stories, right? Just like superheroes are kind of wild and crazy stories, right? And then this Holy Spirit came down and gave the superpower to all of us to go love and do amazing things or teach or preach or lift up spirits of other people. It's all these cool superpowers that we've gained. The really cool thing, too, is that this Pentecost story started originally from our first superheroes, the Jewish people, when God first spoke to them, and then God spoke to everyone. So we're building the circle, and we're getting it wider and bigger and bigger. Then all the disciples flew out, and they spread the word of love and kindness to everyone from all over the world, and that's how the church gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And guess what? That's your job, too. Because do you feel that? I want you to close your eyes. Do you feel stuff on your skin? How many of you get goosebumps? Yeah? Just remember, that's the love of God coming down on you, and then your job is to go out and share that love with everybody else. Pretty cool, huh? So anytime you see red, I want you to think that's the power of God coming down and spreading the love to everyone. You can do that, yeah? Let's end with a prayer. So I want you to close your eyes. I would think, Holy Spirit, you're so cool. You whoosh around like the wind, and you have fire that burns in our hearts. 
Let's go share your love with the world, whether big or small. And we say, amen. Okay, Freya, what are we going to do now? Sunday school.